It is Monday, y'all know what that means. We're back here again. Market Monday, going over everything you need to know happening in Only the Show 23 this week and how we can make some stubs. Let me say, we got quite a bit to talk about. Even if it's looking like a slower content week, we got a nice investment play towards the end of this video that could pay off big time. So over the weekend, we did have quite a substantial market crash that we're still seeing some of the impacts from now. A lot of this stems from people selling off basically everything they can to rip packs in order to pull Tatis. I mean, for example, we got a Roki Sasaki uh, at 112K on the sell now. He was close to probably 100K on the sell now on the 22nd. We got a card like Jordan Walker that was showing around 140 or so, dipped down to 100 back up to 126 right now seeing that really across the board with a lot of cards so if you picked up any cards over the weekend and looking to flip them sell them off i don't hate that idea because we could see them dip again at some point in the future we'll talk about that in a little bit later we also saw a lot happen with our diamond duos packs that we got for free from the charisma program driving down prices a ton on those cards specifically we got a guy like brooks robinson here was showing around 37k got down to 22k He's 26,000 right now. Jim Medman's another one, 44,000 on the sell now right now. Got down close to 30 after being in the 60, 70 at his peak, 80K range for this card. We're seeing these down quite a bit. Maybe a little late to invest in them, but we could still see them bounce back a few thousand stubs, a few percentage points here and there over the rest of the week headed into next week and depending upon what kind of packs and stuff we get through things like the weekly wonders but at minimum if you're looking to do things like your set one collection to get the pedro babe and chipper decent prices to come in here and pick up some of these guys especially our diamond duos another example here Dontrell willis was 55 45 000 stubs down to 35 and 25k back up to 35 now so we are seeing quite a bit of a rebound if you bought any you want to flip those make some stubs i don't hate that play as before too long i imagine we're gonna get a flash sale here in mlb 23 the first flash sale of mlb 22 was on the 29th last year which would be this upcoming friday if they're basing it similar to what they did last year I, we gotta be getting one soon so maybe that is gonna be this friday and we would see things like diamond duos cards around the world cards future star guys all those ones in packs take some pretty significant drops if we get that so for me in terms of set one collection buying i'm kind of just holding out until we get that flash sale probably going to get one per season i would imagine and that's going to be a huge day to get some progress towards those collections i think it's going to be something that's coming soon now we also only have 18 days left in the season as well so i think at some point we're going to see some of these cards especially some of our cheaper ones start to pick up a little bit as people are buying them for those collections if you need a set one card to collect to maybe get to the next year well bricks robinson's 27k bob gibson's 26k we may see people start to pick up a few of those that are cheaper in order to help them with those collections also one last thing on the market with everybody pulling those chase bags trying to get that tatis we do have a lot of live series cards that, that are down tremendously right now in the marketplace. And I have a video going out tomorrow talking about some of my favorite live series investments for the next roster update there. Now, looking at the content schedule for the week, Tuesday, of course, our new Charisma flashbacks and Diamond Duos. Not really too much happening there. Wednesday, we got our weekly Wonders program pretty standard we're gonna keep our eye on it maybe there's some sort of chase back in there or even if there's a diamond duo pack from a specific set we could expect those diamond duos to drop a little bit could be a good day to pick up some of those and then coming on friday we have quite a bit dropping this friday mexico city series other program giants padres and more adding tops now player awards that'll be huge for helping us get through that set one collection a brand new pack with all-star game flashbacks and legends I'm super excited for that. I mean, did we get the 99th DeGrom? You know what I mean? It will be the show 21 DeGrom coming back. Maybe that is showing up there. But I want to talk about the Mexico City Series program, Giants, Padres, and more. Obviously going to be a program based around that game taking place between the Giants and the Padres. And it would not surprise me at all if part of that program, you need to use players from the Giants and the Padres, or you need to exchange players from the Giants or the Padres. So if we can come in here and get in some guys at quick, I mean, Ross Stripley right now has zero sell now orders. So 
he is a quick sell card we come in we take a look at the padres they're not going to be as at quick sell but you darvish at quick sell juan soto at quick sell as well joe musgrove at quick sell if there's any sort of player xp missions with padres and giants exchange padres and giants innings pitched hits etc any sort of missions involving those i do think we could see these cards coming up and also the weekly wonders program has been featuring teams that you need to complete missions with and so maybe with the mexico series game happening this weekend that is where they use the padres and giants if they do use them in the weekly wonder program or in the mexico city series program these cards should go up depending upon what it exactly is but for example we can come in here and get juan soto and joe musgrove at quick sell value the risk-free investment worst case scenario you quick sell them back off best case scenario they jump up in price from people coming in and buying them for missions or exchanges and you can cash in on a decent amount of stubs you could look at flashbacks as well but i'd probably be focusing on live series cards especially if there's an exchange basis to it live series are going to be the play that everyone's looking at and furthermore with a guy like soto doubles as a great investment as well obviously not had the best start this year in san diego but he's too good of a player to not figure that out we'll be talking more about him on tuesday spoiler alert for that video right there i also want to point out with the pack coming on friday those base brown cards assuming it's a choice pack are probably going to be really nice options to flip generally can make some really solid profit on base round choice packs when those drop in the marketplace and if the rewards in the rare round are really good we could see something similar to what we had happen with that these this weekend where people are selling off cards to then buy those packs so keep that in mind as well could see a market dip happening there combine that with a flash sale chance opportunity i think we see the market dip again this weekend possibly for the last time before the season two drops as people start hurrying up and trying to buy some cards to complete those collections before the end of the season so that is what we got today real sneaky play with the giants and padres going on there huge content week last week a little bit slower this week but friday looks to be a really good day for stub making as always you got any questions hit me up down in the comment section below and until next time i catch y'all around